Hi, it's Dave Oates from Find a Monkey and Joanna North Associates. I um, wanted to do a video this week about the Adoption Contact Register. Um, some people may be familiar with what that is, some people might not know. Um, I've certainly talked about it in videos before, but um, it's kind of come back to the forefront of my mind in recent weeks because of a couple of cases I've had where it's played a key part in um, our clients' um, wish to get in touch with, with somebody. So for those that don't know, the Adoption Contact Register um, is a register where people can put their details with a wish to be in touch with somebody um, that they may be separated from through adoption. Um, you can also use the register to specify a wish to have no contact as well, so there's different ways you can use it. Um, I'm talking about the one for England and Wales as well, but it gets confusing because Scotland has its own register. Um, but also in England and Wales, we've had um, the NORCAT register, which um, was um, started way before the um, the General Register Office contact register. Um, and so there are more than one place where people can put the details. I've also known people put their details on other contact registers. Uh, there are some websites that you know have set their own um, contact registers up, but they're, I suppose less official. Some of you have to pay like a monthly fee to to stay on things. So there are lots. It, the contact register system in theory is really good um, and if, if it worked well it'd be excellent but in practice in my experience it doesn't work particularly well because there are more than one register it's confusing but you also find there are a lot more adoptees um, adopted adults on the contact registers as opposed to birth relatives in my experience certainly with the general register office um, contact register um, so there's because of that disproportionate number you are far less likely to get a match because there are fewer birth relatives on there so I think the whole process is really confusing and the, re there's, the reason I wanted to talk about it today is because I've had um, a couple of clients who both had their details on the adoption contact register many years ago and kind of gave up um, because they thought well the other person hasn't put their details on there so therefore nobody wants to be in touch with me um, and I think it's important to understand that you can't assume that it doesn't mean they do want to be in touch of course but it doesn't inform you enough to understand what that might mean. Many people we speak to don't even know about the contact register, that's the truth. Um, one of the first questions we ask our clients is, are you aware of the contact register? And most people say no to that, or they say, yeah, I think I might put my details on there, I'm not sure, I don't know which one it was. So it, it's so confusing, and it doesn't really tell you if the other person wants to be in touch. Um, so. I guess the reason I wanted to talk about it today is because if you've put your details on the contact register and decided not to follow up on it further because you felt that was the end, it may not be. Um, and in my experience, it doesn't really give you a clear answer. Um, it's certainly something you should definitely do if you're looking for somebody. Um, should be the first step really for most people, I think. You can try that, it's quite a simple thing to do. Put your details on there, but if there is no match, and you still want some answers and you still want to do more then then i would say that you know it's okay to do that and it doesn't doesn't give you the answer the contact register it's an important step but it's not it's not everything so i hope you found that useful um that we've got a guide on um, the joanna north website about the adoption contact register so it's worth checking that out if you want to understand more about it and you can visit the the government website as well where you can see how the contact register works got any questions let me know um, and thanks for watching see you next time